Hey folks, it's Brian here. I wanted to show you how I used Shotcut in a recent project. Uh, I had some 8mm film reels from about 35 years ago, and I thought it was about time that I uh, convert those to digital, and um, so I took those reels and sent them into uh, one of those companies that can do a film transfer, and they returned to me some uh, high-definition ProRes files. And so I thought I could use Shotcut to maybe clean them up and just make them look a little better. So I'll show you what I did here. Uh, I've opened it up here in Shotcut, and the first thing you'll notice here is the frame rate is 25 frames per second. Well, the the native frame rate for the 8mm uh, film is uh, 18 frames per second. They had sound, so uh, it's 18 frames per second. So um, their capture device happened to capture at 25 frames per second. And so if I just play it natively here, uh, you'll see it plays too fast. <laughs> kind of a kind of a chipmunk sound there. So the first thing I need to do with this file is I need to change the speed so that it will play back at the right speed. And uh, since the original frame rate is 18 frames per second and the media rate is 25, uh, I need to slow it down by to 72%. So if I just put uh, 72 here, hit that, it's going to refresh. And now when I play it, uh, it won't uh, it won't sound sped up. Yeah. There, this is this. Yeah. Uh -huh. There's. A so that fixes the speed and the sound. Um, but if you look at this, there's there's quite a few other things. Um, that I think we can make a little better. One is the colors definitely a little off. Um, also, the uh, camera is kind of shaky. I think the uh, camera operator was just uh, holding it with his hands. And uh, I think we can clean up some of the film grain. So let me show you some of the things I did here. I dropped it down on the timeline, and uh, I've applied some filters. And I'll just take you through the filters and show you what I did. The first thing I did is I applied this stabilize filter. So if you watch me play it here, you see how it's kind of shaking around a little bit there? So now let me turn on this stabilize filter. And uh, now when I play it back, you can see that uh, the, the subjects in the video themselves stay still, but the sides are moving around here because uh, the stabilize filter is trying to make the stu subject stay in one place. So that worked pretty good for me, but um, uh, there's still some other things that we can improve here. Um, just to show you real quick how the stabilize filter works, um, you choose your shakiness and your accuracy um, settings. That's basically, um, you know, how hard is it going to work to try to keep the picture in one place. And then you click the analyze button here, and that takes a little bit of time. And then after it's been analyzed, you can choose these other options, uh, zoom and smoothing. See, I chose just a little bit of zoom uh, just to kind of make the main part of the picture a little bit bigger. So that's Stabilize. Uh, the next filter that I applied is the White Balance filter. And uh, you can see as I toggle here the difference. This is without. looks kind of orange or reddish. Uh, with the White Balance filter, it looks a little bit more natural. And uh, I really didn't try to tweak this very hard. All I did was uh, just took the eyedropper and I thought, well, uh, this shirt here is probably white. So I chose that as the white color. And uh, I think it did pretty good. Uh, a person could work with this color temperature here to try to dial it in a little bit too if they wanted to, but I'm pretty happy with that result. Uh, the next filter that I did is this Renew Reduce Noise filter. And uh, the way this filter works is um, for each frame, uh, it creates a copy of the frame and performs a Gaussian blur on the frame. And then it goes pixel by pixel and it decides, should I use the original pixel or should I use the blurred pixel? And um, so the threshold that it uses to decide is this, is this threshold here. If the, uh, if the blurred pixel is more than a value of 4 away, then it's going to use uh, the original pixel. The idea there is that um, that way in flat areas where the pixels are pretty close to the same, um, they'll get blurred out. But then when there's edges or um, you know, any detail, it'll still use the original pixels. So... Um, I'll toggle this on. You can kind of see just a little bit of the noise just kind of moves into the background a bit. You know, you can't really get rid of all the graininess, but if you kind of look over here in the background, it just takes some of that uh, 
uh, that noise and just kind of softens it up a little bit. I think this looks a little bit better uh, than without it. So I'm going to go with that. And then the last uh, filter that I applied here is the uh, single pass audio normalize filter. Um, I just do that um, just to make sure that the audio levels are going to be the same on all my clips. Uh, you can see when I play it back here, um, it's doing its thing. It's adjusting the gain up and down a little bit just to just to equalize it. Um, so I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I like the results. The only thing that's not very nice now is because of the stabilize filter, when you're watching it, you see this um, these black sides move back and forth, and that's kind of distracting. So I did a little trick here, and I'll, I'll show you how I did it. Um, basically what I did was I added some other video tracks, two other video tracks, and I laid down just a black color uh, clip on there. And then what I did is on this color clip, I applied a size and position filter to move it over to the side. So you can see that it's putting this color only over here on the right side, basically creating a, a bar on the side, a pillar bar. And uh, then on this other track, I did the same thing um, right over here. And uh, I tried to get the size of the bar just right so that it's going to hide this um, film uh, sprocket hole here so that that's not visible anymore. Um, so if I just unhide these two tracks, it's going to um, apply the black bars on each side. And you see how it's going to hide that, uh, that leader there. And... Um, so now if I play back, you can see that uh, that sprocket hole is gone. The sides aren't bouncing around. Uh, the middle is still nice and stable. Uh, the grain has been reduced. The color um, is closer to a natural color. And um, I think that did a pretty good job. So that's how I use Shotcut to clean up my, uh, my video from my um, transferred film. And uh, I hope you find that useful.